I just arrived in the Saint Jean Pied de Port, and tomorrow I'm starting the Camino de Santiago. Hi, my name is Olivia, and I invite you to join me as I start my journey on the Camino Francis. Rich in history and cultural significance, the Camino Francis is the most popular and well traveled route of the Camino de Santiago, covering approximately 780 kilometers from the enchanting Saint Jean Pied de Port in France to Santiago de Compostela in Spain. Every year, as they traverse the landscapes and narratives of the Camino, thousands of pilgrims are driven by their unique purpose, whether born of faith a spiritual quest or a desire to partake in a transformative adventure. It is a collective pilgrimage with individual stories converging at the revered grounds of Santiago de Compostela, a destination that holds significance for us all. So, here I was on my first solo travel adventure in the beautiful saint jean pied de port ready to embark on a journey that I would remember forever. So this is day one on the Camino. Last night I stayed at this wonderful hostel. It is called Gite de la Porte Saint-Jacques. And I met so many nice people and if I was nervous before, they just made me feel so relaxed. So far I'm feeling excited and happy to be here. Even though my back already hurts and I am maybe one kilometer in. Slightly concerning. Today I'm walking for 28 kilometers from Saint Jean Pied de Port to Borghete. The weather is really nice. It's gonna be 34 degrees, uh, which I was not expecting for October. Look at this lovely view, and there's nobody around. I'm always that friend saying to people that I can walk that far and uh, now it's my time. So far I only have two concerns. One is being able to carry the backpack is pretty heavy because the camera equipment and the second one is my luggage. Since I'm carrying my camera equipment and my laptop in my backpack I had to send the rest of my things with the luggage company. I have booked them in advance with the entire Camino but in Saint Jean I found out that you can also book them on the spot from accommodation to accommodation. I'm hoping the luggage is gonna be there when I arrive in Borghete. It was around that time that I realized that walk was going to be way more difficult than I thought. It's getting really hot and it's really steep. Still excited. Still somewhere in the beginning. But yeah, beautiful views though. This is Hondo and I really need some water and I can't see anyone around or any fountain. I am 
happy. I have some water. I still have such a long way to go, and this is so steep, but there is shade, and uh, the weather is nice. So I'm grateful for that. Oh, and the views are really nice. taking a short break for some water and some snacks. This is actually harder than I thought because it's uh, steep. I think the rest of the Camino will be easier. I hope so. It's all right. It's just I'm uh, losing my breath constantly. Maybe it doesn't look like it, but this is so steep. Since I started, it's just been going up. And it just keeps going. To be honest, this is a bit more difficult than I thought. I'm used to walking, but I don't have that much cardio training. So if I do this fast, I'm out of breath in no time. Hopefully, the rest of the Camino will be easier. So I heard, at least. This is so beautiful and quiet. There's this nice breeze. I love it. Oh no. again. Oh, look at this pretty cow. Oh. And the view. And the second pretty cow. It's a nice place. Just took a water break. This is 10 kilometers in. I got um, 27 total. But yeah, I'm feeling good and hopeful. Um, I might stop for lunch in lunch dinner in um, Roncesvalles and then from there I got three more kilometers to go. Hopefully I'll get there by midnight. I would love a nice coffee. Whenever I take a break I feel like I'm feeling good. I can do this. It's all good. And then I go uphill for three meters. <laughs> I'm like, I can't do this. I'm not gonna make it. Yeah, I think it's gonna be all right. I think the first day is the most difficult one from what I could see um, because of the elevation. After I go past the mountains, 
I feel like it's gonna be easier and maybe I am going to leave my hostel a bit earlier as well. Today I stayed for longer because uh, breakfast was included and I socialized with everyone. I met so many nice people and I wanted to properly say goodbye and everything. This is October, so sunrise is at 8 a.m. So it's pretty late to begin with. Just trying to be in the shade. Um, in terms of accommodation, I booked a mix of hostels and single rooms. So I make sure that I really get some good sleep at least once in a while. Last, last night everyone was really nice and quiet in the hostel, but I kept hearing people moving. Everyone has sleeping bag liners and uh, they make a sound every time someone turns around. So that kept me up. But overall, I'm, I'm really happy with my hostel experience. It was really, really nice. It was lovely. So yeah, and this, this is such a nice place. I feel like these hostels that are in the middle of nowhere are nicer than the ones in the cities. I understand that if you want to explore the city, it makes more sense to stay in the city. But look at this view. Just look at this view. And I'm not even staying here. And I have all this place to myself. Just And we are back on the road. Place to stop before Rosa's Vice. No accommodation, no restaurant, not even a place to get water for a few kilometers. What made me set out such an ambitious goal for my first day? Well, two things. The first one was the luggage I've sent ahead. The second one was a deadline. I wanted to reach Santiago on my birthday, which would only give me 31 days to complete my journey. I guess there might have been a third reason as well. I had no idea what I was doing, because looking back, I was not prepared for that day. I only kept going because I had no other choice. This is kilometre 12, so I'm halfway through to Roncesvalles and my back hurts and I'm really wondering if I'll make it all the way. My wishful thinking is still there, so really hoping for the best. But yeah, kilometer 12, I am really tired. When I'm editing this video, I hope I made it all the way to Borghete. Finally here. I've been waiting for this forever. I'm feeling so much better. I still got a very long way to go. It shouldn't be that difficult from here on. Um, it shouldn't be that steep. So I'm hoping for the best. It's getting quite late though. It's um, half past three. And in my mind, this was the time where I was supposed to reach Roncesvalles. Didn't really think it through that much. Yeah, I'm still feeling hopeful, especially now that I had some water. So now it's less than eight kilometers to Roncesvalles, which still seems like a very long way. 
uh, but at least this part is uh, easy to walk and I have water. Maps, um, it's an hour and a half to and then a little bit more to work in. Finally, going down here. I will never forget that final stretch through the seemingly endless forest. Despite my exhaustion, encountering a few pilgrims along the way definitely made it better. I am so looking forward to get out of this forest. <laughs> really close to this. And reaching that town, well, it felt like a dream. <sighs> we made it! Now I'm going to forget three kilometers to go. I'm feeling better now. This is amazing. This is just a straight road. That was not the right path. The trail was along the road. I made it. Nine more minutes. And it seems like forever. But I would forget it. And I made it, and I can't believe this. I'm really excited now. My first day on the Camino was a testament to resilience, and the reward of achieving my goal at the end of the day was truly gratifying. Despite the challenges, reaching that milestone filled me with hope and confidence for the rest of the journey. With 30 days still ahead, I was eagerly looking forward to every step 